today we're taking the high road. But I like the low road. But you can take the low road for this high road. You just gotta find it at the store. That's right, we're talking Indiana whiskey. Indiana whiskey. High road rye, brought to you by Hard Truth. Always take the high road. It's far less crowded that way. So they say. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we are doing a review of our state's favorite whiskey. Hard, Hard truth. truth. Yes, Sweet Mash Rye. Yep. The High Road Sweet Mash Rye. I think this is a lower proof. Yeah, this is like the, yeah, yeah 93, 93 proof, 93 proof. 90, 93 proof. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Reading is hard. Great times, better whiskey, and the campus is beautiful. We say this every time we talk about them. The, the campus there is absolutely gorgeous, and everybody there is just always so kind and polite. Yep. And from what we understand, this project came about as a result of the, I don't want to say high pricing, because I still think Sweet Mash Rye at cast strength is still priced appropriately it's for where it is. priced cheaper than most other things. But they wanted a lower proof, lower price offering for people that weren't really able or willing to shell out the 75 bucks mm -hmm. around that. Or the that people it, who just don't that like it costs. high proof whiskey. Yeah, or people that just don't like high proof whiskey. And I think they've done a great job. Um, we were able to ta taste a uh, early batch of this back in May at the distillery. We went up there for my birthday and Brian was nice enough to share that with us. And I'm so happy we found this one at a local store here in Evansville. And uh, we're gonna, gonna take a look at it. So while Jake's undressing this bad boy and popping that cork, I'm I want dressing a bad boy. I, this is sick. <laughs> bad girl. I, what do you want? What do you want from me? I, I'm, I'm unwrapping a bottle. Well, I know what I want from them. While he's doing his thing over here, why don't Struggling. you go down below and, and hit that subscribe button, click, leave a like on the video, and click that notification bell to be notified of when we post new content. We got new stuff coming out twice a week and we love doing it for you. So hit that uh, like and subscribe button, get us to 500. So this old bottle can be pulled off the shelf and finally opened this one right here. We're gonna celebrate 500 with this George T. Stagg we'll 2022. show you the fact that the RFID chip thing works. <laughs> well, actually it's 2022, but Stagg. I said 2023. It's 2020. That's another video from now. So it's anyway. It's 2022. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, juicy. <laughs> Splashback. These things always have the best freaking cork pops. And I swear, oh my gosh, what have you done? I told you, dude. There's whiskey everywhere. I know. My hand, my body, my spirit. Anyway. The table. So no. to be honest, I know I, I hit on it every time we do a review of one of these. This is some of the best packaging in whiskey today. The natural cork top, these tapered edges with ridges. Perfect for a good fist grip. So you can grab it and really just kind of kind of do, you know, one of those. Whiskey! Whiskey! Thumbnail, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so this bad boy, what'd you say it was coming in 93 at? 93 proof. 93 proof. This is Buffalo Trace signature proof. Right? And this is their signature mash bill number one so rye whiskey mash bill number one coming in at a high road proof of 93 93 so let's give it a nose give it a taste and tell these fine folk why do it taste why they should go to nashville indiana and see hard truth why they should go to covered bridge country oh my gosh it's so it's so fruity for a rye whiskey why is it so fruity because it's sweet mash rye. It's so good. It's, it's sweet. That's the whole thing they're going for. It has that That's rice. That's my favorite part about this. It has that rice spice and savoriness, but on. But, but it's like maple syrup. But it's it. like maple syrup and cherries and dark stone fruits. Stone fruit. Stone fruits. I get stone fruits like plum. I feel like, like plum. that's a thing that like. I get like. Crash Bandicoot. I get like plum and apricot. Oh my goodness. Tell me I'm wrong, but does Apricot sound like a jazz musician name? It, it does. Apricot Jones or something like that. Apricot Williams. Yep. I don't know. So the nose on this is absolutely incredible. It takes it nothing away from, like, it takes the cast strength nose, 
and brings it directly to this bottle. There's almost no difference between a cast strength hard truth nose. The difference is your nose, nose doesn't burn as bad. Right, you don't get a lot of the ethanol. It is, it's like fresh mowed <sighs> grass, except near Canadian maple trees. And and just, there's a tropicalness to it as well. I mean, you, you're getting like Mixed mango. with those migratory coconuts. Oh, man. Because that's what happens, coconuts migrate, look it up. Anyway, I gotta go in for this one. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. So you get more of the rye whiskey on the palate than you do on the nose. There's a little pepperiness. The rye spice comes through, but those sweet fruity flavors are still there just to keep your palate just dancing like crazy. Man. Dancing in the moonlight. Man. Hard Truth, you're really doing it upright. And I can't say enough positive stuff about They're you. They're taking the high road on making whiskey. They are taking the high road. It's much less crowded up there. Yeah. So Usually it's the interstate. Yeah, I, I swear, other than the proof point, there's not a whole lot of flavor difference as well from the cast strength really. stuff to, to this. It doesn't burn nearly as bad, but I mean, Hard Truth is notorious for not burning, even though it is a mm. rye. You, you go into it thinking, oh boy. Yeah. Then you drink and you're like, oh boy. So I don't exactly know the age on these. I would assume this was probably around two-ish years, two to three years. I'll have to talk to Brian and get Aged over, over three years. Over three years? Very bottom. Well, excuse me. There's an age statement on the bottle. If you do a little bit of reading, folks, you find out. So aged over three years. So this is some of their older distillate. Oh, man. It's not their oldest distillate I was by say far. Their oldest distillate usually comes in a bottle with a green. Yeah, and gold in the label. in the cast strength stuff and in the, in their uh, their special releases. But this one, for just being you know th at least three years old, absolutely killer. I you know it's mm. actually some of the best. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to finish that sentence. This is good three year old whiskey. My only complaint. And this might be because we've been drinking some higher proof whiskey today as well. The finish isn't quite as long as I'd like it to be, but it's still there. I'm blaming the high proof. It's for still, that. it's still there. I'm still tasting it, even after I've swallowed, after I've just kind of taken a few breaths, I still get that rye whiskey on my palate, and it's absolutely spectacular. Hard truth, you're knocking out of out of the park, and we love you for it. You know, it's it's good to say your state has a good distillery in it. Well, multiple good distilleries, but two. Well, three if you want to count Ross and Squibb or MGPI or whatever you call That's them. That's who I was considering as the second one. Who's oh, the third one? Starlight. Oh yeah, Starlight. God dang. Three. That's well, yeah. So, right. Green River. I'm counting it. It's right there on the border. It's, it's right there on the border. I mean, we could spit and hit Green River Distilling Company right now, but we're not talking about them. We're talking about this Hard Truth High Road Rye, and for me, this. This bad boy comes in at just the right proof, just the right flavor profile. Go out and grab yourself one. There, we bought ours for 40, what, 41? 41.99. 41.99 plus tax out the door. You can't get much better than that. You Not for this quality of a product. <laughs> yeah. It's and such a young age statement though, too. Yeah, it's, it's crazy Younger. good. Younger. So now that I've given you my swan song of of hard truth go out and grab yourself one you won't be disappointed especially at that price point point. and i think uh well i don't even need to give this a letter grade if i'm recommending it to people i wouldn't think so solid so, c right <laughs> solid a solid d for damn good that's what it is it's damn good anyway that's damn a review said good <laughs> That's going to be a review from us, everyone. We want to thank you for joining us. And remember, go down there and hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified of our new content. Notified every time so that way you can hear our lovely voices coming to you through the interwebs. Every week. Every gosh darn week. And leave a comment on this video. What's the best rye whiskey you've ever had? This is going to be up there for us. So until we drink again, guys, we want to thank you again. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. Reminding you to share a pour with your friends and family. Because much like the movies, memories don't make themselves. They don't. Damn, this stuff's good. And that's the truth. The hard truth.
This stuff is damn good.